Harry used the invisibility cloak to sneak outside to Hagrid's hut. While he was there, Harry saw Hagrid being led away to Azkaban. Harry must now take Hagrid's advice and follow the spiders into the Forbidden Forest. We just uh, went to Hagrid's and he's taken to Azkaban. And now uh, we're about to follow the spiders and into the Forbidden Forest. Hagrid said to follow the spiders. So now uh, this is the second time we're in the Forbidden Forest. As you can see there are snails. Can defend them for five points. This is the second time uh, Harry has been into the forest. First time was to find uh, ah! unicorn blood and now Harry has to follow the spiders. <laughs> and uh, here's one of the spiders. I only see one. Now I see more. So right now it's almost it's 15 minutes to midnight. And uh, I was gonna post uh, both Harry and Spyro today, but um, actually I drank coffee uh, two in the afternoon and then uh, kept crashing and I fell asleep. I crashed into my bed. So then I woke up at around 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. and then uh, I did my college homework and I just decided to do this uh, walk the part before I go to sleep. So now uh, there's this uh, tarantula. When he puts his body up, you have to put it. This is just like a uh, Battling the fire crab, except uh, except it doesn't shoot flames. It shoots uh, some spitballs. You have to avoid that. And then you have to cast Incendio on this uh, web. Incendio! You can go on further. So for those of you who are Red Sox fans, uh, I'm not gonna post some of uh. I'm not going to post the ALCS highlights as um, there's some technical difficulties. But uh, I will uh, record the World Series and uh, I will post uh, highlights on YouTube, so stay tuned for that for those of you who are Sox fans. So now there are two spiders this time.
Secrets in the Chamber of Secrets book, uh, Harry goes along with Ron. In this game, Harry goes by himself. Now let's look at the signs. Stand where I point, look upon the waterfall, and you shall see the light. Let me see what I mean by what the sign means by that. What you have to do is uh, stand where it points and it has already millions on those platforms and then you see the light. Now what we have to do is get across before it lights back down. And we made it across. Now there's another spider. And Ron is actually afraid of spiders. Which is why he doesn't want to go back in the forest. So now we go right here. We need Jasper Emilius on this bridge. I don't know what, why Harry jumps. Now you cast Birdie Milius on uh, the secret passageway. And now uh, there's another spider. And I just got hit, but that's not a problem. This is uh, what we can get right over here. You can uh, get yourself a Wigan Well potion just by mixing it. And collect the potion and drink it. And also, uh, there's a wizard card here. Let's just see what it is. Albus Dumbledore! The headmaster of Hogwarts, and let's check it out. Harry! Albus Dumbledore! Headmaster of Hogwarts! Then there's another card which we got during the private lesson. Ignatia World! Albus Dumbledore! Harry Potter! El Ignatia Greta Rowena Jesus Dork Crispin Yard Crispin Cronk sent to Azkaban for keeping sphinxes in his back garden. So uh this is the card I keep forgetting about. And uh he's been sent to a wizard prison just like Hagrid for keeping sphinxes in his backyard. I don't get it. Um are sphinxes illegal in the wizarding world? Let's go back. As you can see, there's a snail right here. Now we can go on ahead. And then uh, there are two bridges. Uh, you have to cast Birdie Milius twice. On this one and on the second one. to jump from bridge to bridge and now you can go on ahead as uh, there's another spider now as you can see uh, there's this tree and you have to climb that tree tag Get on to that cliff. And now, uh, what we can do is, uh, went on this cliff, and, uh, over here, um, this is, uh, kind of a stealth section. You have to avoid being seen by these trolls. And if they do catch you, um, they, uh, they growl at you saying, uh, Gradar or something like that. Now we got through these trolls. 
seen by trolls because they are like prefects in this game so this troll is not looking neither is this one so now we can go Zary will see someone, a creature that is. You. They've taken him to Azkaban. They think he set a monster on students. <laughs> I come from a distant land. A traveler gave me to Hagrid when I was an egg. He cared for me, kept me in a cupboard, and fed me. When I was blamed for the death of the girl, Hagrid protected me. Now, I live in the forest. So do you know what did kill her? The thing that lives in the castle is an ancient creature we spiders fear above all others. We don't speak its name. Okay, I'll just go then. Go? I think not. He cannot deny his children fresh meat. So, uh, what you have to do is avoid these spiders. And you have to handle these tree branches. And, uh, you can also handle the spiders. Also, when you pretend you're 
of spiders, uh, Aragog uh, can run into you and uh, he can also destroy the trees for you. But first I just wanna, I just rather handle the trees. Aragog destroyed a tree for you, and then more spiders come. It spits out eggs, which uh, releases more spiders. So in the PS2 version of this game, uh, battling Aragog will be different. As, um, in this version of the game, uh, battling Aragog uh, will uh, be in the end of the Forbidden Forest, as uh, you see him and battle him. But, uh, in the PS2 version of Harry Potter, um, you actually, uh, See Aragog uh, while you're in the middle of uh, in the Forbidden Forest, and then uh, when you're in the middle of traveling in the forest, uh, you see Aragog. You try to uh, get away from him, and then you battle him. So now we have two more branches to go. Spiders. First, so uh, that Aragog can so that Aragog can destroy one of the trees. And you just go in this corner. And then we have one more tree to destroy. and Aragog should fall right now. And he goes in this cave. And as you go down, there are some beans. And over here there is supposed to be a, a cutscene. There's Ron with the flying car. And there's a store cutscene. The car screeched to a halt, and Harry dived inside. Hurry up, Ron! The door slammed shut, and Ron didn't need to touch the accelerator because the car was already speeding away. They sped out of the hollow, branches whipping the windows as the car wound its way cleverly through the widest gaps, following a path it obviously knew. After ten noisy, rocky minutes, the trees thinned and the car stopped so suddenly they were nearly thrown through the windscreen. They had reached the edge of the forest. Harry and Ron arrived safely back in the Gryffindor common room. What was the point of going in there? What have we found out? I'd like to know. That Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. He was innocent. So, uh, Cornelius Fudge uh, and Dumbledore accused Hagrid of uh, opening the Chamber of Secrets and setting a monster on students, but yet again he was innocent, and I wonder who else could it be. Harry, Ron, I'm sorry, but this will be a bit of a shock. There has been another attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
I am very sorry, but your friend, Miss Granger, was found petrified near the library. I have asked all students to remain in their house common rooms. I also have some rather bad news for you in particular, Mr. Weasley. I'm sorry to tell you that your sister, Ginny, has gone missing. The suspicion is that she has been taken into the Chamber of Secrets. Oh no. Oh no! What are we going to do? Aragorn mentioned that last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a girl was found dead in the bathroom. What if she never left that bathroom? What if she's still there? Moaning Myrtle! Go to the girl's bathroom, Ron, and find Moaning Myrtle. I'm going to find Lockhart. Lockhart? Why? He's the defense against the Dark Arts teacher, and whatever's attacking people is definitely involved in the Dark Arts. Okay, I'll meet you in the girl's bathroom. So they found out that the girl she was will be alright, won't she, Harry? Don't worry, Ron. We'll rescue her. And then I'll close the Chamber of Secrets for good. So it was Moaning Myrtle who got killed in the bathroom. And uh, that's why she's a ghost there. So uh, before I go to Lockhart's office again, I have Verdi Milius now. I can now get the card from two of the bookcases. go through this door and now I uh, can finally cast Verdi Milius right across this gap and now you go through this bookcase and what you find there is a wizard and I know all about him. He's supposed to be the wizard chess champion. Harry Potter! The boy L. Ignatfi Greta Catchlove. Rowie, just so. Rowie, Greta Ignatfi L. Harry Godric Montague Knightley. Wizard chess champion. 1506 to 1588. So that's who he is. It's been the wizard chess champion for the 16th century. So now we can get the other card in another bookcase right near Lockhart's office. And also we have, uh, I will go back to the common room to, uh, to battle the founder duelist, the Slytherin duelist. And I made it across. I can battle the Slytherin Dueling Champion in the common room. After I get the other card. So now I go right near Lockhart's office. And also, uh, after you've gathered all 24 cards, which we will in a while, uh, we can go into the Founder's Tower and I will show you what's in there. So now Lockhart's office is right here, but let's go to this bookcase first. Now the card is all the way up there, but we can go around and cast Verdi Milius. We can cast it right here. Now 
now there's another. There's a floating table which you have to light it up yourself. And as you go here, there are more beans. Wonder how many beans I'll collect uh, until the end of the game. And there's a card. Daisy Dodderidge. And she's the first landlady of the Leaky Cauldron. Harry Potter, L. Ignace, Greg, Rowie, Just Dork, Chris, Yardley, Edgar, Help, Adult, Chort, Cassandra, Daisy Dodderidge. First landlady of the Leaky Cauldron. So that's the second to last card. And now we can go into the common room to battle the Slytherin founder duelist. The Slytherin dueling champion. As the last card will of course be Salazar Slytherin. The last wizard card and the last founder card. So let's go through the portrait. Waterbird! And now, uh, you can go through the statue. Now, uh, first let me show you. We just go through these stairs. And all the way over there is the door. Now cast Verdi Milius on these platforms. This is a Founder's Tower, but it's locked right now, but we only have one more wizard card to get. Now we can battle the last dueling champion. Let's go through this portrait. Well, I expect this is the last I'll see you alive. I'm Harry Potter. Of course I'll be alive. I never die. I haven't been dead from Voldemort. Since I was... Yeah, I've been dead from Voldemort. So this is the Slytherin Dueling Champion. Slytherin Dueling Dungeon. Well, 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 Harry Potter. So, you've made it this far. I am the Slytherin Wizard Dueling Champion. You are courageous indeed to dare to come here. Come on, let's duel. Get ready. Duel! The match gets underway and two players get quickly into their stride. Ow! This is the last person we will duel until the Round to Potter. Get 
Get ready. Jewel! And round two kicks underway. Ah, oh, you beat me! Ah, oh, the shame of it! I'll never be able to hold my head up in polite society again! I suppose I'd better give you a famous witches and wizards card then. Here, have this one. I've got another like it anyway. Salazar Slytherin. Harry's least favorite card. Well, we've gotten all the cards, and we've beat all the dueling champions. Well, 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 Harry Potter, the first ever student to beat all the Founders Dueling Champions. I suppose you ought to be congratulated. Well done. Why, well, thank you, and that's the last time we'll be dueling until I do my walkthrough of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets on the PlayStation 2, which I think I'll do um, sometime next year, as I will do other walkthroughs. So now, um, let's view... Uh, all of my wizard cards and my report card. Harry Potter! The boy who lived! Albus Dumbledore, headmaster of Hogwarts. Ignatia Wildsmith, the witch who invented flu powder. Felix Summerby, inventor of cheering charms. Greta Catchlove, author of Charm Your Own Cheese. Rowena Ravenclaw, Hogwarts co-founder gave her name to a Hogwarts house. Jacinda Sykes, first person to fly across the Atlantic on a broomstick. Dorcas Wellbeloved, founder of the Society for Distressed Witches. Crispin Crunk, sent to Azkaban for keeping sphinxes in his back garden. Yardley Platt, serial goblin killer. Edgar Struber, inventor of the sneakerscope. Helga Hufflepuff, Hogwarts co-founder, gave her name to a Hogwarts house. Adelbert Waffling, famous magical theoretician. Chauncey Aldridge, first known victim of dragon pox. Cassandra Vablatsky, celebrated seer and author of Unfogging the Future. Daisy Dodderidge, first landlady of the Leaky Cauldron. Bertie Bott. Inventor of Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. Salazar Slytherin, Hogwarts co-founder, gave his name to a Hogwarts house. Herpo the Fowl, first known creator of the Basilisk. Hengist of Woodcroft, founded the village of Hogsmeade. Paracelsus, greatest of all medieval alchemists. Gaspard Shingleton. Celebrated inventor of the self-stirring cauldron. Montague Knightley, wizard chess champion, 1506 to 1588. Godric Gryffindor, Hogwarts co-founder, gave his name to a Hogwarts house. And I'll show you the report card. As you can see, we've got a grade A in Herbology, grade A in Defense Against the Dark Arts, and uh, we've got all the, the awards. We got all gold wings and quidditch training, and um, we defeated all the dueling champions. Harry! And now we can go into the Founder's Tower, as that's what we've been waiting for. As a while ago, 
door was unlocked was the door was locked, but now it's unlocked. I don't know, I keep saying unlocked. So the door is unlocked right now, and we can go in there. And this is the inside of the Founders Tower. And all there is is a book. So, uh, there are a lot of bookshelves here. And now let's, uh, take a look at this book. Now this will be interesting for those of you who are into game designing as I am a game designer in college so and uh, I am uh, an artist in uh, game designing in college so this will interest me now let's take a look at this book Harry Potter it shows you characters and creatures and objects and places Ron Weasley. And there's Ron Weasley. The first one is Harry Potter. Hermione Granger. So this is the concept art. Wonder who uh, designed those. Wonder who drew them. Draco Malfoy. Harry's least favorite student. Albus Dumbledore. Harry's least favorite uh, person, Draco Malfoy. And Albus Dumbledore, who's the headmaster of Hogwarts. Hagrid. Our beloved gamekeeper who is now in Azkaban. Gilderoy Lockhart. Oh no. Harry has had enough of him. If uh, he thinks that he is talented. Madam Hooch. You actually don't see her in the game, but you do see her in the Sorcerer's Stone and uh, the first two uh, PS2 games of Harry Potter. As uh, you will do Quidditch training. Professor McGonagall. The headmistress of Hogwarts, who is very strict. Professor Sprout. Who teaches herbology in the greenhouse and it's holding a mandrake and um, the mandrake roots should be complete and everyone should be unpetrified after I go into the chamber. Professor Snape. Harry's least favorite teacher. Guy Trash. You will be seeing those in the PS2 version of Harry Potter, just not in the PS1 games. Hagrid's hut. Hagrid doesn't have a fence around his hut. Basilisk. Now, um, this is actually the creature of Chamber of Secrets. This is the monster of the Chamber of Secrets. And, um, it's supposed to be mentioned, um, uh, before Harry goes into the chamber. But it's not. That's the voice Harry has been hearing uh, at Hogwarts. That's uh, the voice Harry has been hearing. That's why he's heard it and no one else heard it because it's because he understood parcel tongue. Hermione read about a basilisk and um, she also wrote pipes and Harry has been hearing it in the walls. The game doesn't tell you that but I just did. That There's your monster. And it will come. We will battle it uh, while we're in the chamber. Chamber of Secrets. So that's what it looks. So that's what it looks like. Herbology greenhouse. It's a pretty good drawing of it. Well, um. The 
exterior of it um, does look good, but uh, it's not what an actual building would look like. Well, what if it's constructed? Actually, uh, there might be glass, which is hard to see. Aragog's pit lair. So that's where we were just at. We uh, saw Aragog and defeated him. An imp. Now you don't see those in the PS1 games, you only see those in the PS2 games of Harry Potter. Filch. Now, uh, Filch is what's known as a squib. A squib is, uh, a person who came from wizarding families but doesn't have any magical abilities, and Filch doesn't have any magical abilities, so. Yeah. He's non magical, but he comes from a wizarding family. That's what he's known as Squib. Was something I was going to say, but I forgot. Moaning Myrtle. That's what she looked like before she died. Back then, uh. Before she died, uh, she was just called Myrtle. And um, she got killed in the bathroom 50 years ago. Nearly headless Nick. Now, um, we haven't seen Nick in a long time since the death day party in this game. Wonder what happened to him. Harry's bedroom at Privet Drive. So that's Harry's room. Uh, he got locked in that room, but Ron, Fred, and Weez Ron, Fred, and George rescued them. Rescued him. Ford Anglia. Now that's a flying car. Um, Harry and Ron flew to Hogwarts and nearly got expelled. No. Gnomes have knobbly heads. They look like potatoes on legs. As we will be throwing them around in the PS2 games. Fox, the Phoenix. Dumbledore's pet. A phoenix, which is a bird. A fumous bat flamer. I don't know what these are. Look like a Looks like a gargoyle. A puffer pot. Fun to throw around in the PS1 games, but um, they uh, cause dizziness uh, in the PS2 games. Quidditch player. That's a Quidditch player. Uh, who plays Quidditch? I have nothing to say about him. Aragog's lair. This is where we were, and we battled Aragog. Tom Riddle. The owner of the diary that Harry found. Will we see him? We we'll find out. Trollbridge, Forbidden Forest. That's what the Forbidden Forest looks like during the day. Doesn't look very scary. Arthur Weasley's automatic washing machine. They were just battled in the burrow, and we will be battling again. We will be dueling it again uh, in the PS2 version of Harry Potter. And that's it. That's all the concept art. Must have taken hours to complete to draw those. So now that we have all the wizard cards, uh, we've entered in the Founder's Tower. Now we can get on with finishing this game.
now you can uh, go to the store. And now, uh, after you collected all the cards, this is what happens, uh, this is what still happens after you collected all the cards and talked to Fred and George. Sorry, Harry, but if you want more famous witches and wizards cards, then you'll have to find them hidden around Hogwarts. And we've gotten all the cards, so you don't have to worry about them. And then Colin's photo album. Let's just take a look at the... Look at that. There's Harry in the burrows. Harry denoming the pumpkin patch. Denoming the burrows. Flying car with Ginny Weasley. And uh, there will be more after you've completed the game. I don't know if you can go back uh, with uh, to Colin's photo album. Go back to a place to get the card if you haven't already but I've gotten all the cards so I won't be uh, needing to go there so now we can exit And now we can go to Gilderoy Lockhart's office. So, uh, Gilderoy Lockhart's office is just right here, and, um, we will be seeing Lockhart next time we meet, so, see you then.